All right, today we have a Volkswagen, which is unusual to have in the shop. Um, but good friend of ours, so we're working on this thing. Uh, we're changing the lift gate supports out of it. Um, got that one. I've been fighting with it for, I don't know, probably a good hour to get it in. I just buttoned it up. But I figured uh show someone that's going to have to go through the struggles of getting this strong arm out because you can't really compress it it's spring loaded plus the tension of the leaking piston so um i figured let me just try to show someone because i literally had a hard time getting that thing out i had to walk away a few times and come back so let's check it out so it has some clips just like i'll show it to you visually when it actually here let's pull this up so you have this cover that's that's hiding that spot you have to remove you have to move the ac drain pop this cover off and then it is pretty much hidden under there um and it's got some clips just like strong arms that you have to push aside and to get them out the issue is, is that this is longer than this actual spot right here, or you could actually visibly see the indentation of here. Um, in comparison, it is longer. They gave you some wiggle room a little bit, but it's not enough for you to twist this um, sideways and get it out. Uh, it, it has a, a, almost a half an inch. And like I said, you cannot compress this by just pulling it. Uh, at least I can't. So I had to figure out a different way of doing it. And the way I came up with doing it, I think it's going to be easier for anyone that's trying to do it in their driveway. Or you're probably in a garage like us and never done one. And you have, you're going to have a hard time getting it out. So let's get to it and see what we got. Sorry for rambling so long, but um, I think I need to vent a little bit more about this. I got it out with that little clip thing earlier. No, the light's not going to fall. You just literally have to pop the clip off, but it's getting to the back of the clip. Like literally, it is. There we go. There's that one. We have to go in the back and get the other one. Okay. So we have to remove the support that's holding this big heavy um, tailgate down, up rather. And then we have to lower it down to get this strong arm in between the hinge so we could move it forward. Might need to come down set a tad bit more. Yeah, compared to the other one, because this one, this side has the harness. All right, let's go back up. Hold, bring it in. Now? Yeah. One second. right there so that's the bulkhead that you have to literally make it come out of the tailgate part and then you're able to bring the lower part the back down and out and then it it's able to come out but yeah hands will get dirty and sticky from the the glue and the sealant or dum-dum as we call it 
All right, same thing when on reverse, um, when you're installing it, you uh, want to go back forward first and stick it through that little crevice that you made. And then you're able to get the back part in first and then start lining them back up. But um, it's really tricky to get to it and space is very, very limited. Yeah, to some it'll probably be, oh yeah, it's easy. But for me, that's never done it before and I'm pretty sure there is some folks out there that probably would try to save a couple of bucks or whatever it is and try to do it themselves. And they would literally have a hard time um, spending hours on it. I hope by watching this video it helps. Um, just let me know. I will appreciate you.